guys, welcome to another episode of the Pen Quiz Show. This is the fourth and final episode of this month. It is the winner's episode. After this episode, we will have a winner who get an amazing prize. It will be a gift certificate of Appleboom or the ghost. Last week, it was a really close show again. It was with Aziza, Edmund and Aiden. It was really close, but eventually Aziza won again for the third uh, time in a row. Uh, she's here at the winner's show and Edmund eventually won with one and a half point more than Aiden. So it was also quite, yeah, quite interesting, but he's here with us as well. And unfortunately, uh, we had to drop Aiden, but he got a really good replacement because it's Alicia. So. Let me explain a little bit what we're going to do. I'm going to ask 10 questions. The participants, they will write down the answers. They will show us the answers. They will write it down with their favorite fountain pens. And if you want to participate as well, you can let us know in the comments below what your answers will be on my questions. And if you want to be here on the show with your face in the camera and things like that, let us know and you might be here. So. Let's go to the participants. No, sorry. Very important. There's one jury member. That's me. No discussion. <laughs> Let's go to the participants. The first one is Aziza. Aziza, you're here with us already for four weeks. You still have the same outfit on. Yeah. Uh, did you shower I don't change. in the meantime, Aziza? No, I haven't even left the spot. Yeah, I yep. see. I see. It's, yeah. uh, you know, you studied so hard, of course, yeah. because you have... You, you won three weeks in a row, you know, totally. that's quite impressive. Yeah, yeah, totally. It never happened in the history of the Pantry <laughs> show ever that, you know, that there was one. Yes, I am paving the path. It's, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I see that. But you have some fine competition. Because yes, I do. We have Edmund from London. And, and you know, Edmund, he didn't shave at all. He didn't shave. He's, he's just, uh, he doesn't have any growth in a week. So uh, that's, that's very, that's very nice. And uh, Alicia as well. Alicia, welcome. It's your first episode. Yeah. Freshly showered, unlike everyone else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've been Newbie captivity. advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you smell that, right, Alicia? You smell it. Yeah, smell it. nice yeah. and fresh. <laughs> yes, I see that. All right. Uh, Aziza, with which fountain pen are you writing down your answers with? Yo, today? this week I am using the Leonardo Furore with the rose gold trim that I long term mm -hmm. borrowed from your table at the Commonwealth show last year. And yeah. that's all. Let's just pretend you never saw that. I, I need to charge rent, I think. <laughs> no, for such a long time. I'm, uh, yeah, it's really nice anyway. No, it's okay. It's okay. Edmund. Which fountain pen are you writing with? Today? I'm going to be writing with my giant pens, Goliath, <gasps> which is absolutely wow. beautiful. Ebonite oh, with nice. rings of Jonathan Bridges. Brooks resin. Very, very cool. <gasps> yeah. I'm show you the section. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the nib is an FP nibs uh, oh, wow. with a nice, juicy, fat ebonite feeder. So let's nice. see if it helps with the answers. Mm hmm. Let's hope. Let's hope so. Alicia, you know how it works. Yeah. Which fountain pen? I'm going to be using my sea glass Esther Rogesti um, with oh, nice. the journaler nib. And unless this writes for me, I don't imagine myself getting many points. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. You know, It'll people be always say that and oh, no, then eventually the they, have, they have 10 points. You're here right? for the laughs, yeah. Yeah. This is I'm for the comedy. try and get those half points for humor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let's go to the first question and see how it goes. Because the first question is, in which city is platinum based? Let's have a look at your answers, guys. I totally guess. Totally guess. Yeah. What do you have? Kunisawa. Kunisawa. I have 
Tokyo and I have a question mark. Uh, well, of course, it's, it is in Japan. Platinum is, uh, is a Japanese brand and they are based in Tokyo. So Edmund, congratulations. You have the first point of nice. this uh, winner's episode. Thank you, Pam. So, you know, it's You've come through to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's all in the pen. It's all in, it's the, all pen. in the pen. I see The that. pen is mightier than my brain. You've heard this saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to question number two. Because which fountain pen is made with lava? So which fountain pen is made with lava? Show the answers, please. I have a Fisconti Homo sapiens. I have another Fisconti Homo sapiens. And I have... I started you writing have, Montegrafa, but it's definitely wrong. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is the Fisconti Homo sapiens. Uh, so, Aziz and Edmund, you have points. Let's go to question number three. We move to uh, Germany a little bit. Because I want to know, who designed the Lamy 2000? So who was the designer of Lamy 2000? The Lamy 2000. I don't know. Beep about designing. I don't know so. their full name. But that's... So I just totally guessed. Okay, okay, okay. I have some answers here. Uh, Aziza, what do you have? Uh, you have? Some dude, Bauhaus style. <laughs> okay, so, Edmund, what do you no. have? Uh, a chap who loved simplicity. I was trying to remember <laughs> Bauhaus. I couldn't remember the word. I was like, something so, like that. Neither uh, Alicia, of us got what do it. You have? I don't know their full name, but I have Mueller down. Amazing. That's the correct answer. There you because go. it was indeed Gart Mueller. So, Alicia, you have your first point. Nice job. Wasn't yes. me. It's the pen. <laughs> nice job. All right. This is an interesting one. Because what is the Swedish word for fountain pen? So, what is the Swedish word for fountain pen? Yeah. I made this up. It's a challenging one, I know, but uh, yeah, let's see. Aziza, what did you wrote down? Uh, Tinte Halter. <laughs> yeah, that sounds more German. Yeah, it does. What do you have, Edmund? Erdy Gurdy. It's from The Muppet Show. <laughs> I think Yost is and... regretting all his choices. <laughs> yeah, Alicia, Alicia would, what do you I have? I wrote Fountain Pen because I think it's still universal. <laughs> well, the correct answer would have been if you go to a, to a Swedish store and you're asking for a reserve for Arpena, you get a fountain pen. Actually. So most likely I'll watch it and meet it completely, but that's something that... I think uh, you're closer than any of yeah, us. Yeah, I think you're so... closer than us as well. Okay. I think you get the point there. <laughs> All right, thank you. I will write it down. <laughs> Pretty curdy. <laughs> All right, question number five. This is an A, B, C, D question. Oh, so, you know, goodness. you can at least guess if you uh, have no clue. If a fountain pen is made in the same size, but with a different material, which one would be the heaviest? So which material is the heaviest material? Is it A, silver? Is it B, palladium? Is it C, platinum? Or is it D, gold? So again, is it A, silver, is it B, palladium, is it C, platinum, or is it gold? Let's see what we have. I see one gold, I see another gold, and Alicia, what do you have? Silver. Silver. Well, unfortunately, everybody has the wrong answer because the correct answer is platinum. Oh. And platinum is heavier than gold and silver. Yes. Yes, yeah. You see? You actually learn here something. Yeah. All my platinum stuff is carried by my staff, so I never actually hold it myself. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, I can yeah. I can admit. I was going to say, now we know which pens not to put in our suitcases. There you go. Yeah. 
Yeah, Edmund doesn't have that problem. You know, he has all these staff members. He's like 20 people working for him. It's crazy. All right, let's have a look uh, where we are right now because there is one person leading and two persons uh, with the same uh, amount of uh, points. And this time it's not Aziza leading, but it's Edmund. <laughs> you have two points, Edmund. Congratulations. Well yes, done, Yes, Pam. yes, <laughs> yes. And Aziza and Alicia, you both have one point. So it's like really close. Everything can happen because we have five more questions. Okay. And you know, guys, at the end, there is this amazing prize. So, you know, step up your game a little bit. All right. Let's go to question number six. What is the most sold model of Lamy? So what is the most sold fountain pen model of Lamy? Once again, taking a guess. Everybody has the correct answer. It's the first <laughs> Safari. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. It's the, it's the most popular model and a lot of people <laughs> love it. It was first introduced as uh, as an entry-level school pen, but there's still a lot of grown-ups uh, riding with it as well. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a popular uh, fountain pen. Nice. Let's move forward to question number seven. Which pen brand is known as America's original pen company? Oh. And it's so, so, so interesting to see the answers because, of course, it is Estabrook. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apologies to Brett if he's right. watching. Yeah, it's so He's sad watching and Brad. judging. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brad, Brad would have known all the answers, but unfortunately, yeah, you know, you you have to uh, you have to win at least one time or not lose a show to Ouch. Uh, it's harsh. All right. Question number 8. This one this one Brad would have known this one as well. I'm so sorry, Brad. If you're watching, I'm so sorry. <laughs> In the Montegrappa Warriors limited edition series, there are currently two editions. Who are they represent? So the Warriors editions, you know, they, they make the, the little warriors. Who are they representing? Okay. And I'm looking for two persons. Actually, this is a question where you can get two points. So if you have one, you get one point and you have both answers correct and you got two points. Yes. Okay. They're really crazy limited editions, by the way. It's really, uh, it's really something. And I don't know if I'm allowed to tell yeah. it. Maybe yes. Yeah. There's another one coming later this year, and I've already seen it, and it's crazy. All right. Show me the answers, please. What do we have here? Um, I see Vikings three times. That's correct. So everybody got at least one point. And then what do you have, Aziza? A nurse? Norse. Oh, a Norse. Yes. No, a Norse is, is uh, it's, uh, it's a samurai. So Edmund, yes. Oh, very, well very nice. Very well nice very job, well Edmund. Thank you so much. And yes, very yes, uniquely yes. with moving arms. Not enough players <laughs> come with moving cool. arms. You can hold them as wow, pen stands. Cool. You can use them as pen stands. That's yes. pretty awesome. In fact, I have all my Lamy safaris being held up by the solid gold Vikings. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine doing that. You know? That's very cool. It's typically it's typically you, Edmund. It's typically you. <laughs> how many how many did you get from the Vikings? Only nine. In gold? They, they wouldn't sell me more. Yeah. The, the entire the entire yeah, yeah, I understand it. All right. Let's go to question number nine. Because what did Aurora sold? when it started so obviously it was not pens but what did aurora sold when it started yes i i can i can really feel the tension here you know it's getting closer to the final answer and and you know people are car parts car parts <laughs> yeah Motorcycle. That's unfortunately not the correct answer. Aziza. No, that's totally okay. That's good. 
Um, I have pencils here. That's also not correct, Alicia, unfortunately. Edmund, what do you Motorcycles, have? Motorcycles, which is a complete guess. Motorcycles. No. Unfortunately, that's also incorrect, but the correct answer was typewriters. So Aurora imported typewriters. Look at that. In Italy. Once so again, if Brett was here. Started. Yes, yes, yes. He's on display, right on the desk there. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so sorry, Brett. All right, let's go to the last question. Question number 10. I'm going to show you the detail of fountain pen and you just write down what it is. Let's have a look. And I want to have the name of the brand, the name of the model. Uh, that would be enough, actually. I'm a nice judge, actually, you know, to just only the, the brand name and the model that's, yeah. Is my tongue still blue? No. <laughs> it <laughs> was because I licked my in your mouth the wrong way. Yes. Uh, well, I did it on yeah. purpose, but. <laughs> All right. Does everybody have the answers ready? What do we have? It is, of course, the Montegrappa Monopoly. So congratulations, everybody. You all got points. Very well done. Very well done. And this also concludes this episode. Yes, yes, yes. And it's a, it's a really exciting episode because, well, we will have a winner here. Uh, but first, let me tell you guys who is not going to be the winner. Uh, so on the third place, let's put it nicely, on the third place, it is with four points, which is actually quite good because it's like 40% of the questions you have. Still correct. a fail. It is Alicia. Not Thank you so much, world. Alicia. Good job. I got four more points Very than well I thought done. I would, so. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, you see, you did a great job. But now let's find out who is going to be the winner of the pen quiz show. The first four episodes were amazing. Uh, Aziza, you won three of them. Yeah. Uh, you know, but yeah, eventually everything is all about this final episode. I got knocked out so, by Edmund's wit. It's, 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 it's all <laughs> about this bad. episode. And, and the winner of this episode is with six points, Edmund. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations, sir. Thank you so much. Well, well done. done. Yes. Very well done. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You did an amazing job, Edmund. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. you win either the Oppobom gift certificate, which you can use in the web store. You can come over to the Netherlands and pick a nice founder pen out, or you can donate that amount to the Aziza, thank you so much uh, for participating. Of course, you did a great job. This thank you so much for having me. It was yes, a blast. And I see what you did here. You know, you, you, lose, wow. you lost this one on purpose. You of didn't course. want to win like everything. I, I had to let the gentleman yeah. win this time, you know? Such yeah. kindness. So, such kindness. <laughs> such humanity. <laughs> oh, thank All you right, so much. Everybody. Yes, Edmund, congratulations. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to do that right now. On the next episode, we will have three new participants and we will do this all over again. We will have four episodes and then we will run it over till we have eventually a winner. So it's, it's pretty cool. I really like this uh, format. Aziza, uh, Edmund and Alicia, thank you so much for this episode. And hopefully we will see you around. Edmund, I will send your prize over or we will discuss whatever you want to do with it. And yeah. Congrats, thank Edmund. Thank you so Great much. Girl. It's been an absolute much joy. Deserved. Thank you so much, Yos. And thank you. Thank you so much, Yos. This was really fun. It was so much fun. Thank you. And educational. I'll be back to try and win again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like redemption round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You have to get a pen from everybody John that's pen. watching. If you want to participate, you can just reach out to us and, you know, maybe you can sit here. Um, but first, subscribe to the YouTube channel. <laughs> bye bye. Quiz you later. <laughs>